In this video, we are going to learn about what really happens before the count. Or in other words, we can talk, we can say that um, the preparation uh, before the inventory process is taken place in the in a company. So the topics we'll be covering a typical counting day, processing open transfer orders, blocking the storage type. So these are the things we need to keep in mind before we start a real time uh, stock intake process in SAP WM. So let us first discuss about a typical counting day. The count often takes place on a weekend or a day when most factory staff are not working. Warehouse inbound outbound delivery and production are halted in order to make sure that stocks are not affected. So because we don't want to um, add or remove any existing stock during the, the counting of the stock. So that's why all the inbound outbound deliveries and all the production processes there will be halted or even if there is something happening then we'll, we'll try not to touch the, uh, the existing stock before we finish the count. So we'll hold all the processes for the meantime till we're doing the count. And also we need the fully trained counting staff that are made available on the day of the counting. So the, the people, or the staff who knows how to take the stock in within the warehouse and also all the staff who are trained with, to process the transaction in the SAP system. Usually accounting staff are available for any financial issue that may occur or decision that needs to be made on the day of the counting. Processing open transfer orders. Now there's another mandatory thing is that before we start the count in the warehouse, we need to make sure that there is no open transfer order. That means any transfer order that is still waiting to be confirmed because after confirming the stock will be moved from the, the interim storage bin to the, to the final destination bin. But if there's any open transfer order still waiting for the confirmation, then we need to go through them and complete the processing. Either we we remove or we can uh, delete the transfer order. For example, if somebody created something by accident or if it's still waiting for the confirmation, then we need to confirm it and make sure there's nothing pending in as a open transfer order. And the transaction code is to check that all the open transfer order is LT22. So I'll show you this transaction as well. So you can use this menu path, SAP logistic, logistic execution and all that, or we can directly jump to LT22. So here in the SAP system, we can go to the logistics. We can then go to the logistics execution, and then we can go to the internal warehouse processing, stock transfer, display transfer order, LT, there are different ways to display the transfer order by single document by list. LT22 is the one we need to see for the storage type level. So here, for example, I can enter YWM, my warehouse number. Here you can enter the storage type for which you want to take the stock or alternatively you can leave it blank and see the all the storage types. So if I execute it, it will give me the list. So there are only two here. Or if I go back and if I remove uh, Z01 and just run for all the storage types, so it will give me a big list. I can scroll down. I can go through all the um, all the open transfer orders. So we need to go through each of them and make a decision for them. So then we need to, as I said, we need to confirm them or we need to remove them. So here also you can, like we have done before, we can click on the number of the TO and I can jump to that TO. I can go to the header. I can go to the item details and all that. I can see all the data and I can come back like that and then we can make a decision like this. So, so this is very important. There is no open transfer order left for that specific storage type for which we want to go into do the stock take. And, uh, and once all the open transfer orders are processed, what we do is we block the storage types. So the reason for blocking of the storage type is that so that no one can add or remove any stock from that storage type till we doing the counting of the stock. So transaction code is um, LI06. So I show you this one as well. 
So if I go back and here physical inventory in warehouse management li06 you can open it here you can so here you can see all the warehouse number and next to it you can see the storage type so here you can select your storage type that you want to block and here you can see two types of block for example if you select the first one you don't want to select it but i'm just highlighting it so here you can see uh, there's a block here so this is a placement block and this is a removal block so you can either put one block like no one can remove the stock or you can uh, so no one can place the stock for this one and this one is no one can remove the stock so for now we can put both of the blocks and here if you want you can also enter a blocking reason so that if someone else try to go into this transaction and here you can select a reason so here the standard reason is shown here is blocking reason one blocking reason two but in customizing you can create whatever you want for example um, with doing the stock take or can be anything else maintenance or whatever so we can create our own um, reasons so you can see this create button you can directly jump to the customizing of this um, uh, reasons where we can customize our own so let me show you that as well So here, so that's the one. So if I open it, so here you can see the reasons at the storage, at the warehouse number level. So for example, there are 001, 001, there are two of them, one and two. I can copy this, say copy this. I can create 001, say number three, a third one, three, and I can say stock tick. And I can press enter, save it. Go back. Now you can see a third one as stock tick. So you can customize your own. So no one can put now the stock and no one can also remove the stock from this storage type. So these are the things we need to prepare just before the stock take so that's all about this so just a recap so we learned about a typical counting day uh, the processing of the open transfer order before the stock take and also blocking of the storage type so that no one can touch the stock either remove or add the stock so that's all about this video and we'll talk more about it in the next videos thank you